Hello everyone, this is Alejandra Gomez with creatingwithelli.com and I am um, doing this class in Mexico. So I did try to bring all the stuff here, but of course I don't know if I'm missing anything. Also my lighting might not be the greatest, that's why I tried to do it a little bit earlier than my usual time so that you can see it. But um, today is our stamp stack, or sorry, a stamp along class and um, before the holidays, I designed a class using the Magical Meadows, which is this one. Let me show you here shortly. Oh, we'll see everything here. Which is this one, the Magical Meadow. And um, the people who ordered this class got everything to make eight cards with this set. So we're going to be making the cards tonight. Um, if you got your kit, let me know. I'm uh, very excited to be doing this class this way. And also, uh, of course, if you are uh, interested in the kit, as always, you can get the kit to make these cards. Uh, when you place an order with me using the host code, which is in the description of this video, and you'll get one of each of these cards, or a kit to make one of each of these cards, so that you can create the cards from today. So anyway, like I said, I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna be featuring the Magical Meadow. By the way, this is like the last day, although, yeah, this one is retiring too, so today is the last day to get this kit, this uh, stamp set or bundle, if you will, because it is retiring. Hi, Maria, nice seeing you here. Also, let me know in the comments uh, where you're watching from. I always like to read where you're commenting, where you're watching from. And um, <clears throat> also, let me know how was your, um, your Christmas and your New Year's Eve. We had a lot of fun. We are in Mexico still um until the weekend so we'll see <laughs> so you can see it's a little bit weird for me but anyway as usual i did bring um a few of my card classes just to make sure you are aware of them um especially the share so tomorrow we launch a new catalog and of course i forgot to bring my catalog which is crazy but i forgot about it so i cannot share it share it with you here but tomorrow is the first day of the new catalog and with that, we're gonna have new papers, new ribbon. And so we have, a uh, I am partnering with Jennifer uh, Cotton so that we uh, can do the paper share. So the paper share is one of those where uh, we both design one of the cards with each of the paper packs. And I have here with me my four. I saw Jennifer finish uh, designing hers and I post a sneak peek on my page as well as my group so you can see them. They're all gorgeous. But you can see them here. It features the new um, the new paper that we have. It is eight different packs. So it's going to be eight different cards. And you get a sampling in this event. You get a sampling of all the different papers that we have. And also you get um, <clears throat> the ribbon this time. We're doing paper and ribbon because we think we only had like four new ribbons and eight papers. So we thought, okay, we should probably do the whole thing. But anyway... Um, this is the one where you get a sampling of everything. You're also going to be getting a sneak peek of some of the celebration items because it's starting tomorrow. We start celebration items as well. So we want to have uh, to share with you a few of the sheets. Not a lot. It's just a perk, uh, a little bit sampling there just to uh, for you just to see some of those paper as well. And it's not going to be from all of the collections. Um, this time celebration has a lot of paper. And so we're just picking two of them and, now, and we're going to be giving you uh, a sampling on some of those. So anyway, um, like I said, um, today the registration for this event ends January 15th. However, if you want to avoid um, back orders, it would be great if you can sign up by today. That way um, we can order everything tomorrow and we avoid as much as we can the back orders. All right, and um, so thank you, thank you. So if you want more information about that, let me know. I'll be more than happy to send you the link. Also, if you are on my mailing list, you got the registration link again today because today was a was like a, a key day. <laughs> Uh, but again, you can sign up all the way through the 15th. It's just that anyone who signs up by today, uh, we're going to be entering the first order of, with the new catalog tomorrow. And that way, hopefully, we avoid some of the back orders. So anyway, uh, so that's that. Um, there's prices. There's um, there's a, uh, what is, uh, we have, um, what am I, I'm missing all my words now. 
Um, we're gonna be doing a mystery stamp, yeah, a mystery car stamping, and also a bonus uh, car. So definitely check it out. I know that this is one of the events that my customers like the most, and definitely you're gonna love it. There's two bundles that we're gonna be using. The one that is called uh, Thoughtful Expressions, which is the one that you're gonna be needing for um, these, um, the die cuts, the labels. I am in love with the new labels we're gonna be having. So those come from that bundle. And also the Heartfelt Hexagon, which is the one that has the punch, as you can see here. So you need to have those bundles. Of course, you can substitute with anything you have, any other labels, but I know you're gonna love it. So anyway, so that's that. Um, the other thing is Car Club. Car Club ends uh, registration on January 7th. Um, which is Sunday. So definitely want to make sure you know about that. Uh, for this time, I forgot to bring one of my cars. I only had four for whatever reason. I thought I had all five, but, um, and right now we're traveling. So I don't know. <laughs> I have to check at home. What did I do for that one? But anyway, I'm going to show you four of the five. You get five of them and it is featuring the gorgeous lavender, perennial lavender, which it's the one that has all the purples and you know, I love purple, so I couldn't resist playing with it. So here are the four of the five cards. And so what it is with Card Club is that you get a kit to make five cards. I'm only showing four because that's all I got here. Um, but you get a kit to make uh, five cards. It is about 20 to $25 worth of merchandise. And um, also when you stay with me for six consecutive months, you get also an additional $25 worth of goodies. Anyway, the car club uh, goes from, in this case was from December 8th through January 7th. If you sign up by January 8th, then you're gonna be getting the February kit, which is still in the signing process right now. But anyway, um, here is the one. Uh, you can go to creatingwithali.com forward slash card club to get all the information about this, to sign up, register, and get the kit uh, for this one, okay? Also, if you're interested in the PDF tutorial, I do sell all the PDFs. So if you're not in the US, but want to get the tutorial for all, any of my card classes or any of the card club classes, you can check them out at creatingwithali.com forward slash uh, shop. And even on the on, on the page where I have my card club, you can go below and see all the different kits that we've used. And you can click there, uh, the link to get the tutorial. Now, this one is not yet there because until tomorrow, I can really add the products that I'm using here. I always have a full supply list so you know exactly which bundles with paper, which um, ribbons I'm using. And so that is gonna happen until tomorrow. So I have everything ready, videos and measurements. It's just a matter of completing the supply list. So by tomorrow, I should be able to post the tutorial for this one as well, all right? And um, so anyway, so you'll find more information about that on my store. And the last thing, which we don't know yet, we're gonna be releasing it shortly, but at the end of January, we're gonna be featuring one of the new celebration items. Again, Jennifer and I are partnering and we're gonna be doing something special. This one features the Beautifully Happy, which is a past celebration stamp set. And we're matching it with a new celebration item, which is the, I don't remember, the airy and flight or flight and airy, I don't remember. But it's the one that has beautiful birds and beautiful flowers, really nice. And so it's gonna be an eight card, each of us designed it for, she finished designing it, so it's just a matter of releasing the signing form, the registration form, so it's gonna be released here shortly. But here are the cards that I designed, and I just love it. You can see how beautiful the paper is. Look at those beautiful birds. I just love everything. And of course, you'll get the stamp set as well as uh, half of a paper of the designer series paper, plus some other embellishments. So definitely uh, be in the lookout. Um, I just saw Jennifer's cards, and I love them too. So I know you're gonna really love it. And like I said, this class uh, will include the stamp set. Uh, which is a past stamp set that we had um, for celebration. So we're pairing it a little bit with it. Um, so anyway, so that's pretty much all as far as classes. We're also gonna be having um, a class in Houston. So I don't really do too many of those live classes. However, if you're a demonstrator and if you're going to the on stage in Houston, we're gonna be releasing an event um, here shortly 
that is going to be the 14th of March in Houston. We're going to be, Jennifer and myself, doing a cart class. It includes breakfast and it's going to be amazing. We're going to be having a class um, so that we can have a get together before our on stage event. So I know you're going to love it. So if you have registered to that, again, it's the one in Houston. Make sure you check it out um, and sign up with us because I know you're going to love having that event as well. So anyway, so let me flip the camera and go through the stamp along and we'll see how that goes. All right. <laughs> and by the way, thank you so much for your uh, comments. Uh, I was sick yesterday. I think Mexican foot did not go well with me yesterday and I got sick. And so I'm sorry I couldn't come yesterday, but I'm feeling much better. Um, I yeah, so I just spent the whole day yesterday in bed, but everything is fine now and I'm good. So I'm happy to be back with you. So anyway, so let me flip the camera and then go from there. Give me a second here. Now here is where it's going to get a little bit tricky. Because my setup is different as you can see, and I'm not so used to seeing, uh, this, uh, and I am sitting down, which is not my typically my typically way. So hold on, let me move this one downwards. Okay, so hopefully you can see. So like I said, if you oh sorry, if you got a, the stamp along kit, you would have gotten something similar to this. Okay, of course you will have a full pack of these, a spool of this ribbon, which is the sheer ribbon. Um, this is the white and silver shirt ribbon from the September to December catalog. I'm excited that this one is not retiring, so it's going to be really fun. I did include several pieces for you to die cut. Um, of course, I've done a lot of my die cutting mainly because, again, I am here in Mexico and I couldn't really do all the die cutting. But I did send all the instructions to those who got the stamp along. So at least you should have already... Uh, known which parts you're going to be die cutting and how you're going to be cutting your um, your designer series paper because I have everything already cut out. For those of you the stamp along, you got, uh, I think it was a half of a pack of these designer series papers. So just make sure you have everything cut out. I already pre embossed and cut out everything that I could. And like I said, you had on your kits pieces like these so that you can cut out all your different pieces. But let me just make sure I have the pieces that I'm going to be stamping and then go from there. Um, so anyway, now if you are watching this stamp along and you want to still get the kit. Now the stamp along included eight cards for my regular Facebook Live. You're only, you're only going to be getting one of each of these cards. Okay, so you're going to be getting for this time four cards. What is really cool about this, which is something that a lot of you usually ask, and I never do, is this one in particular will have measurements. So the PDF will have measurements. And then after we're done with this video, you're going to be getting a link to this video because this is how I'm going to be explaining how to put together all your cards. Um, but I know a lot of you always ask for the measurements. And for Facebook Live, I rarely do that, mainly because of time constraints. But because this was one of my classes, I decided we're going to be doing the measurements. So whoever on the on the Facebooks uh, live that orders between now and January 6th, which is the Saturday, um, orders over $35 using the host code, which is on the description of this video, will get also the PDF with the measurements and then the key to make these cards. Okay. So anyway, for the sake of the video, I'm only going to be making one of each, but, um, you got your kit, like for the sample, you got a kit to make two of them. Now, uh, I'm going to be using my PDF here shortly. So this is how the PDF will look. It has all measurements and everything there. And then once we're done, I'm going to be adding the video, uh, the link to this video so that you can go back and watch it again. So anyway, so let's go over these things. And like I said, we're going to be making one of each right now just for the sake of time. I don't want this to take forever, but of course, um, you're gonna be, you have all the pieces to make two of each. So I have all my pieces here and we'll go from there. So uh, my car base on this one is the, um, what is this, basic black. And again, on your kit, you should have uh, enough uh, basic white. I already used some of it because I already stamped some of mine. Um, but 
Uh, you should have plenty of basic white for you to do all your stamping. And again, like I said, you should have also all the pieces cut out every, except for the designer series paper because you got half of a pack. So just make sure you cut your designer series paper to this. Now, one thing I realized until I was here is that I cut out my paper a little bit larger. So I'm going to be cutting out this one. And of course, I don't have my trimmer here with me. So we're going to be doing something here and see. <laughs> we're going to be... Um, what am I saying here? We're going to be here um, uh, cutting out with scissors because I realized when I came here, I was like, oh my goodness, I cut it out a little bit bigger. So now this one should be, let me tell you, this one should be um, two and seven eighths by four and five eighths, four and five eighths. And I cut it out at, see, I cut it out at four and seven eighths. So I have to cut out a quarter of an inch on this one. So... Again, this is just me doing this wrong right before coming here. Um, so I'm going to cut it out somewhere here. Of course, I'm doing all of this because I didn't bring my gutter. Otherwise, I would have. That's the only thing that when I... I don't really do videos when I am traveling because, of course, things like this, I cannot... I don't have all my my regular stuff here, right? Like I am at my mom's house and of course we don't have everything here as in my crafting room. So we're gonna be fixing things. But of course, if you have your ruler and a pencil or a pen, everything should be fine. Let me see. Hopefully this fix it. Yeah, see, so I have it all fixed now. So we're gonna be gluing these pieces and we're gonna be stamping on this one with the Ooh. with the memento ink and let me get my i want this one to say winter wishes which we are still in the winter All right so we're gonna go ahead bring this one and stamp the sentiment somewhere here you can see it here really nice i'm gonna move my my um what is this called my memento ink we're gonna go ahead and fold this one in half i feel like my lighting is definitely really low like the sun is really going off and like i said i don't have all my regular lighting but anyway we're gonna go ahead and glue this one right here at the top so kind of centering all over but not at this. This is going to be at the top. This is kind of like a new layout, if you will. Now, anytime you have um, pre-embossed paper, uh, try to have a lighter hand because sometimes you end up ripping the paper. And like I said, we're going to go ahead and You know what? I'm going to be getting it better here. Okay. Then I'm going to have this one. And let me know also in the comments, what is your favorite um, bundle that is about to, you know, be released tomorrow? What is the... What is one of your favorite bundles from the new catalog? There's so many things there that I'm very excited about. There's one that has hot balloons that I am particularly excited about. I feel like it's really, really nice. Now, see how I'm gonna be putting this one? I'm gonna be lining up this one at the top, like so. And when you're cutting your paper, make sure you figure out how you wanna be cutting the deer on this, because um, the paper comes like so, and there's like three different ones, so, Check how you want to have your deer, okay? Now, um, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and add those two together. See, and I feel like I did all of these wrong now that I'm looking at these. Because this should also be, I'm going to glue this one and then cut it out. I feel like this one. 
I feel like somehow I did wrong my measurements, you know? But we're gonna fix everything here. Sometimes, when I, was cutting, when I was cutting my kit, I was like, I need to make sure I have everything ready before I go, and clearly I was rushing. But you can see, so nothing that you cannot fix. And then we're gonna go ahead and glue. The only thing that happened to me is that I pre-designed everything. So typically I don't have my cards with me when, when I'm making cards. But for this one, I had to have the cards ready, right? Because I was going to be showing you how to make them. And then as I was uh, packing and coming here, I lost my cards. I don't know what I did with them. Like, I have no clue where in my house they are, <laughs> which I was like, oh my goodness. And of course, I couldn't really, I didn't have enough time to keep looking for them. So I have to come here without my actual car. So I am following the pictures from the PDF and the measurements from the PDF. That's how crazy this was. <laughs> so anyway, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to be putting all my... And of course, that's nothing new because I'm always losing everything. But I was so frustrated because I was packing, trying to get ready to come here and have everything ready for us and then realize that I have lost the cars like right before I was coming. How crazy is that? Okay, so now the next thing is we're gonna go ahead and do a ribbon. I love this ribbon. I feel like this one is one of my favorites. And I am So let me know if you got the kit yourself and if you're stamping with me. Hopefully you did and you are stamping with me. You can see here I am just cutting out this pieces and then I'm gonna be adding this one like right here. Actually, I'm gonna be putting it like so, yes. And then this one is gonna go with a glue dot I'm gonna add two. Okay, and then I'm gonna be adding some of my rhinestones. What do I do with them? Oh, here they are. I'm like, what do I do with the rhinestones? And we're gonna be adding uh, some rhinestones here and there. So I feel like we could add one here. I like adding them like so, and maybe another two, another two sets here, you know, like one there and one here, see? And you have cart number one, really, really nice. And I'm sorry, it's getting darker and darker. So I'm gonna try to do this even faster, <laughs> just to make sure that you can see it because I don't have a really great lighting here. All right, so now cart number two, it's, oh, this one is one of my favorites. So we have these pieces. So we have this one and that one. And then we have these and these. Like I said, I have all my pieces here already. And I've already die cut two of my um, garden green, right? And then the mauve. And let me just make sure I see the picture here. Yeah, so we need two of those. We need that one. We need to stamp something. Okay, so we're good. All right, so let's go with it. And then this one has a card base that is, um, it is the night, the um, moonlight. What is the name of this one? Ooh, something moonlight. What is the color? I I kind of forgot the name right now. Uh, Misty Moonlight. I'm like, what is the name? All right, so now this one, I pre-score at one and a quarter and then at four and a quarter. So one and a quarter and four and a quarter. So you're gonna be folding it in half and then you're gonna bring this section to the front. Now, now that I have it this way, I'm gonna rip the paper here. And depending on how you want it, if you rip it towards you, you're gonna get like, 
a little bit of texture. And if you do it this way, you're going to get the texture here, but this section will not have the texture. So for this one, I'm going to go ahead and do, I'll show you here what I mean. See how you see that texture? So I'm just cutting. And see how you have a little bit of texture here, right? You get the, you still see tone on tone, but you get the texture. Now, if you do it this way, there's no texture on this one. So depending on how you like it, just turn your paper, right? Like if you don't want, if you want the texture to be on this side so that you don't see it here, just do it the other way, okay? Hopefully that makes sense. All right, so that's how it looks. Now for this section, we're gonna be stamping. Um, and let me clean my stamp because that's the other thing. I didn't bring as many blocks. I only block, I only brought two. So we're gonna be doing our stamping here. So we're gonna need this one first. And we're gonna be needing this one. And we're going to be needing this one. So for this one, um, let's bring, let's do the, oh, did I not bring the circle? Yes, I did have the circle. We're going to be stamping the, the sentiment here before anything else. And I'm going to be stamping it in the Knight of Navy. So let's bring this one. And, oh. So this is Knight of Navy, and I'm going to be adding it somewhere here towards your, what is this, the right side of the circle, okay? So this is how it looks. I love the font on this set, by the way. And then we're going to bring these other ones. Okay, so now let me get this. So I want... This one and this one. All right, on this piece of uh, basic white, this is four, four by five and a quarter. We're gonna be stamping these um, leaves. Now I'm gonna rip a piece of paper here from a notebook that I just found from my dad. <laughs> just so I have something here to stamp off, okay? So we're gonna be bringing by the way, um, we're going to have a glass mat, and so this will be great to do in a glass mat because you can clean it. Of course, me in Mexico, I don't have the glass mat, but you can get the glass mat starting tomorrow free with your starter kit, which is $60 worth of value right there, and that's on top of everything else you get. So uh, I'll be sending more information about that, but definitely stay tuned for that. Now, for this one, what I did is... I am using two markers. I'm using the Garden Green from the Regal family and the Moby, uh, Moody Move, which is the one from the new in colors from last year. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and color this section. Just a little bit here and there. And then I'm going to go back with the garden green. And then color the leaves. And once you have it that way, you're going to breathe on it. And we're going to be stamping like so. See? And then you get the two tones and see how it looks. Now, how did I come up with that, right? It all came from the designer series paper. Look how this designer series paper has um, these kind of same tones. So I did the same. Now, we're going to be adding these, right, like so. So we're going to be doing these three times. So same thing, we're gonna go ahead and color this section with the markers. And then back again. 
Now, this was awesome for me because I didn't have to bring uh, more ink pads. I just have to bring the two markers. So I thought that was really cool. So this is one of those techniques where you can color your stamps by just having the markers and you can see you can mix and match, right? Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one like so. And then I'm gonna be doing another one like this, okay? So same thing here. You just have to remember to read in between because sometimes the ink gets dry and so once you breathe on it, you can moisture it again, right? That's the only big thing to remember that you're not really seeing because I'm doing this behind the scenes. So I'm gonna breathe on it and then, and there you have it. See how it looks? So you have this gorgeous mix of colors. Now for this one, we're gonna bring this and we're gonna be doing the same and I'm gonna be color everything and it's getting harder. I should, probably should have done this video even earlier, you know, cause I realized lighting is getting darker and darker, but we're gonna be able to make it, don't worry. You can see what I'm doing here. And so I am coloring here. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring the Moody Move and then color in the little berries here. Oh, I forgot some leaves here, so I gotta go back with the green. I forgot this section. Okay, we're gonna breed. And we're gonna stamp it right there on a scrap of paper. And see how you got the berries in one color and the leaves in a different color. Now, with the that with the die set you're gonna be die cutting it and you're gonna have something like this all right so i've already done that and i'm ready to go now now the die set if you will has let me show you here so this die set this is the one that i use for these as you can see right and then for the leaves the uh, garden green, I use this one. It is this one. And always, always make sure you are lining it up so you know exactly how to fit them. But I'm using two of these. And then one of the Moody Mauve on this one. This is that one. All right? Just want to make sure you know which ones I'm using. This is a great set, by the way. It goes really well with the foliage. Okay. Now, as far as measuring for this, because I didn't say that, this is two and a quarter, yeah, two and a quarter by five and a half. And then this is five and a half by one half, okay? And again, on the PDF, there will be instructions. So anyone getting this uh, kit will get also a PDF with all the measurements, which I know it's something that I not always do on my Facebook, like, but for this one, because it was part of the stamp along, you are gonna be getting also the measurements with this class. All right, so now, we're gonna go ahead and fold this one right here. Then we're gonna be gluing this section here. Oh, and I'm missing one, one piece here. Hold on, where is the, ooh, 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 hold on. I am missing here. I'm missing one of these. Yes, I'm like, what is happening here? So we're gonna go ahead and fold this. We're gonna glue this one right there.
And for those of you who got the stamp along, because you got half of this paper, you can recreate this card with the different patterns, different colors, because you will have a lot more of the designer series paper. So look at that. Then I'm gonna be adding, first, I'm gonna be adding, I feel it goes this way, hold on. How is this one? Let me see the picture again. See, this is why. Okay, so this one goes onto these. So this one goes here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and glue this one and put this one right here. All right, so you just need to have it like so. And then this is gonna go like this. I'm gonna glue this one right there. I just want to have a little bit of everything, right? So I'm gonna glue here and glue that one. Okay, so let's add some adhesive here. And then I'm going to be gluing this one right there. So I'm going to go ahead. Oh. There you go. Okay. And so this one, it opens like so. But look how beautiful it already looks. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding this one right here. Okay. And... I might need to, yeah, like this. So I will be adding adhesive on this section except for this part, okay? So you just gotta be careful with that. Put your hand so you know exactly where not to add any. And we're gonna have something like this. And you shouldn't see any adhesive on this side. If you do, you can have a adhesive remover and take it off but you have it like so and then we're going to be doing all our pieces here so what i'm going to be doing is adding so for instance in this one i would add that one like right here have this one come here and there see and then have this one come right here I actually want it more like this see something like this and I just need to be careful as to how to put it so that I don't cover any of the words here okay so I would be adding a little bit of adhesive here to start adding those pieces See, like this, and then this one is gonna go like this, see? All right, so now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead. And add this one, like somewhere here. Okay, and then at that point, I'm going to be doing a bow and I'm going to be adding it here. So we're going to bring here our ribbon. What do you think? I feel like these are really, really nice. Now you can change, of course, the sentiments, right? So to make it winter, you can bring another set that you have. You can make them birthday cards for this season. You know, there's a lot of people having birthdays in January, right? <laughs> so you can put it here. So... If you don't want this to be like winter cards, there you go. You can make these birthday cards or thank you cards. Of course, we all need thank you cards after the holidays, so you can do that as well. This could be also good sympathy cards as well. I mean, I hate to make those, but sometimes we need them, right? And um, now we're going to be adding some of our gems. So let's bring our gems. And we're going to be adding... Um, 
know what? I'm going to be adding something here and then something there. There you go. See? And there you have it. I feel like now I have the, uh, hopefully you can see good there. And I'm so sorry for the lighting. This is not my typical, but you can see it here. All right, let me go with card number three. Card number three, it's uh, this one. So we have here this one and this one. Ooh. And then I need one of these. Hold on, let me get all these pieces here. I need one of these, which is the same as we did with the Moody Mall. And we need one of these, and then two of these. Okay, so I have those pieces. I'm gonna put everything back, so I will be putting together mine later on. I just wanna make sure we can finish here. Alrighty. Okay, so now for this one, I'm gonna put again the winter. So let me clean my block and bring back the winter ones. And I'm just using the chamois for this. And I'm gonna be stamping this one with Hold on, I can bring this one back here. I'm gonna put this one right there. I'm gonna be stamping this one again with the uh, Memento. So let me bring Memento. And we're gonna be stamping the Winter Wishes. Now this one, comes from the um, Eskel of Contour dies. And is the smallest of the labels there. I might need to take off this little, there you go. So look, look how beautiful the label is. All right, so as far as this piece is, so I have again, one of these using this, right? One of these in the Lost Lagoon which is the one that has like little berries and then two of this one. So this is Lost Lagoon and two on the pretty pickup with that one. Okay. So this is how it looks. Now, um, for this one, the card base, it's the, um, pretty peacock eight and a half by five and a half. We're going to go ahead and fold this one in half and use your bone folder. And then we're gonna go ahead and, ooh, you know what? I think I, I think I didn't cut the designer series paper that goes on this. Give me a second, cause I don't have it on my bag and I didn't bring my designer series paper, but there is another piece of designer. See, I'm telling you, I didn't cut all my pieces. So there is a designer series paper. You can see it here. There is a designer series paper that looks like Lost Lagoon, Night of and um, Pretty Peacock, which I didn't bring. So I'm gonna put everything else, but not glue it, just because I want to add this piece of designer series paper that I forgot to cut because everything was here and clearly I forgot to do that part. So anyway, so let's do this part. So pretend I have a piece of designer series paper. And I'm sorry, this is why I don't like doing these videos when I'm not at home. <laughs> because if you forget something, <coughs> you're pretty much done. So anyway, so this one is three and one quarter by four and a quarter. Now, when I mail the kids, for those of you in the Facebook Live, uh, I will be including that piece. Um, so anyway, so this is three and one eighth by four and one eighth. And this piece is three by four, three by four. So everything is one eighth of an inch smaller than the other piece, right? So we're gonna go ahead and glue this piece. You 
Yeah, so we forgot something here. And we're gonna be gluing it down. And then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. So you should have a piece of the center sheet of paper and then glue this one here, okay? Mine doesn't have it. And then on this piece then, we're gonna go ahead and glue this section. So I'm gonna be gluing this one. I'm gonna be adding again. I might be gluing all of these to be honest, just so that I don't have I mean it looks nice as teal, but I think it looks even nicer with the designer to this paper. So then I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring there. And then I'm gonna have this one and come here. Okay, once I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and add this one here. Now this one is gonna go with dimensionals. So let's bring our dimensionals. I have a smaller one. So let's use the smaller ones. Okay. And then we're gonna be adding this one right here and then a, a bow right there, okay? So I'm gonna be adding this one, ooh. Somewhere there. And then I'm gonna be adding the uh, bow right here. Now, I'm gonna be gluing it just so that I don't lose this piece, but on my second one, I'm just gonna be I'll make sure I cut out my designer sheet paper for the other one because I do want to have the designer sheet paper. It looks good as well without, but I feel it looks nicer with the other one. And you know me, I love adding lots of dimensional, so I'm putting, especially with these little mini ones. So let's go ahead and add all of these. You can see how easy these cards go. And then add it right there. Again, yours will have a piece of the sunny series paper that is four by five and a quarter right underneath. But it looks nice regardless, right? So it does look nice. And then I'm gonna be adding a bow. Let me just make sure. Yes, we're gonna be adding a bow. And I'm gonna be adding it right there, okay? So these, like I say, this ribbon just makes everything look even better. I'll be honest, I just love it. There you go, see? So you have it like so. Now, because I put it this way, it kind of hides some of the glue that you might have still somewhere there. But you can see it right there. Now, last things to do here is to add some of the rhinestones, which were on my rhinestones. And we're gonna be adding Use random and I can even add a few here and there right there see so look how beautiful this looks I'm gonna put it on this side because there's a little bit of a shadow here but here is how it looks what do you think 
Really nice, right? Okay, so now our last car, it's an easy one as well. Now for this one, I have Knight of Navy as my car base. And then I have a piece of designer sheet paper, one of the Escalope Contour dice. Here we go. And then we have a piece of basic white, a, one of these, and then on these I think I have two of each, yes. So I need, for each card you need two of these. Okay, so that is for each car, and then you also need two of the other ones, so that one, and that one, and then we're going to be stamping two of the, let me bring, okay, so before we do that, oh, and we need a basic white, hold on, we need a basic white here. All right, so here's what we have. Now, we have a piece of this, there we go. So let's bring again this. Um, so for this one, we're gonna be stamping um, the leaves. So I'm using this stamp, Amish, to make like holders, right? And so let me take again this one out. And we're gonna be needing two of these for each of the cards. So I'm using, now this is a distinctive. So it has a, it has like lighter colors. See how it looks? It has like a darker and not lighter color, if you will. See how it looks? And then I'm gonna be doing the same. And then the other one is gonna go, I'm gonna go ahead and just putting it like these, cause I need two of these. All right, and then I'm gonna bring my um, die cut. I'm gonna get my dies and use this one to cut out these pieces, okay? So I've done that already. So I have two of those here, okay? And I love how these stamps, it gives you the darker and the, and the lighter. You don't have to be doing anything. In fact, this one will be also really nice to do the same technique that we did with the markers. Um, to do the same as this one, right? Because if, if you think about it, it is this image. So it will also look nice with that. I just wanted to use different uh, stamp images for our cards. But um, anyway, so that's that. Now, oh no, we need this one. Let me bring now again the sentiment and let me clean this one because we need the block. And I'm just using my chamois. I just love the chamois. This was very good for me to bring here, as you can see. Um, let me put all these pieces here and bring the sentiment. And I want this one. The one says, the colder weather brings us together. I love that. Now this one, I'm gonna put it on the label. This is part of the Nested Essentials labels. And so we're gonna go ahead and stamp on this one, like so. And there you have it. All right. And this was with Knight of Navy. All right, so now our card, our card base, it's, um, Eight and a half by five and a half, and we're gonna go ahead and fold it in half. Fold it in half, where's my bone folder? And then you're gonna be folding it again in half, see? I'm not, I didn't do any scoring, because I forgot to do that as well. But you don't really have to, because you're just gonna be doing half and half. Now the inside of our car is four by five and a quarter. So this is gonna go right inside. You can do some stamping if you want. I didn't do any. Um, but of course you can decorate this one if you want. All 
All right. Then for this, uh, for the front, I cut out a piece that is two by five and three eighths. So this is gonna go right there. So I have an eighth of an inch all around. Then I have a piece from the Escalope Contour dies. Now from the set is from the largest to the smallest one. This is the second one. And we're gonna be gluing this one right here. And so I'm just gonna be adding adhesive on this section. And then I have a piece of basic white, and this one is two and five eighths, yeah, two and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And I've already prescored, I don't know that you can see it, maybe you can't, I prescored this one with the tinder, timber embossing folder. And this is gonna go right here, okay? So again, because this is pre-embossed, you have to have a lighter hand, because sometimes you end up ripping your paper. Okay, once we have that, um, what we're going to be doing, and let me just see my picture. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to be adding <clears throat> a little bit of adhesive here. And we're going to be having this one like so. So I might have some adhesive on this section. And I'm going to be doing like opposite, right? So I'm going to go ahead and bring... This one like so, and then this one the same way. And then on this one, let me take this little piece. We're gonna be doing the same. And I might need a little bit more of adhesive. I'm gonna have This one come like this, and then this one like this. So like kind of opposites. And then I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one and add that one right there. Now for this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and add my adhesive right here. I'm gonna be adding this one right there, and then this one come here, okay? And your silicone mat will be best, or like I said, um, the glass mat will be even better. <laughs> and again, the glass mat, you're gonna, you're gonna be able to get the glass mat starting tomorrow for free in your starter kit. So anyway, now this one, I'm just gonna go ahead and pop it up. Uh, now, that glass one, like I said, uh, it's going to be amazing, let me tell you. I'm very excited to have it because I feel like all of this is going to be so much easier because you can clean it. It's a tempered glass. You can stamp, you can adhere, and you can clean it fairly easy. Um, like I said, it's like a $60 value when you get it on your starter kit. And uh, the starter kit includes $125 worth of merchandise. You only pay $99 plus tax, no shipping. And then you get, there's two options. One option is getting that glass mat, which of course I feel like you will wanna get that. Um, it is a $60 value. It comes also with a little silicone path that you can adhere to your uh, glass mat to hold like in spots or clean your pieces, like your brushes. And then it also comes with a cleaning cloth, which is similar to like the chamois, but it's uh, thinner. Um, or there's another option. If you don't want the glass mat, then you can get an additional $30 worth of products. But again, why not getting that glass mat? Uh, more information for sure tomorrow. I'll be sending that on my uh, email. But of course, I just wanted to make sure you, you knew. Okay, so here we go. 
and we're going to be adding this one right there see see how beautiful this ribbon is and you make bows very very easily with this i'm telling you i'm very happy that this is not retiring this ribbon will be available now i'll be honest i don't know exactly if they're going to be available right away or we need to be waiting you know because sometimes they just put it available for where are the rhinestones for um like the holiday catalog so i don't know if that's going to be the case um okay so let me just see so for this one we're just going to be adding again some of the rhinestones and so i'm going to be adding a few here and then i'm going to be adding uh, oh. another one like right there and I feel like I can add a little bit here and there. Say like I can add a few here and like another one right there. See, so you can add as many as you want. You're gonna be getting a full pack. When your order is $50 or more, you're gonna be getting a full pack of the basic rhinestones, which this is like a very good um, gems to have because um, you can color them with your blends and add it up and you can see this one goes really well and of course they go perfect with the ribbon with the silver white and white and silver sheet ribbon that we have here so anyway so here is all our cars like i said i'm very excited to have over this stamp along i might be doing more of these i'm gonna be putting them here although here we go and except for this one we're missing on on this my design issues paper when i send the kit you're gonna be getting that part as well I just didn't have it with me and I couldn't cut it because I don't have any of the designer series paper with me here. So anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know if you enjoy it. I'm going to try to go now and see the comments because um, I couldn't really be watching comments here. So um, let me know what you think. And let me also know which one is your favorite. I always like to hear uh, about your favorites. So let me just check comments here. Um, all right, so we have, oh, Mary Ellen says, I make it look easy. It's very easy, I promise you, it's very easy. Hi, Flo, hi, Lorraine. Thank you so much, yes, I'm feeling much better. Thank you, thank you. Um, all right, so, <laughs> Nympha says, I outdid myself tonight. Love them all, I love them all, I really do. And like I said, you can get the key to make all of them. Uh, when you place an order with me that is at least $35, uh, if your order is $50, you also get the pack of the rhinestones. You do need to be using, so the pack of these, um, you do need to be using the host code, and, um, which is in the description of this video. Uh, Eleanor says number three is your favorite, so which is this one, I think. Um, I like the fourth one. But all of it, of course you are, Don. I know you are my blue lady. <laughs> she loves blue. So of course I knew you were going to be loving this one. Um, Helen, thank you so much. Yes, I am feeling way better. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> and uh, so it was a great job working on the fly in a different place. Oh my goodness, yes, believe me, it's been... Um, uh, Julene says, can you buy just a PDF? Yes. After tonight, I will be uploading the PDF. Like I said, the PDF we have will have all the measurements and it's going to be on my tutorial store. So yes, you can go at creatingwithali.com forward slash shop. Um, I will probably be doing this between today, tonight and tomorrow, um, Julien. But yes, it's going to be there available. Thank you for asking. Uh, Florence says, all four cars are beautiful. This one has got to be my favorite. It is a really nice one. I'm very excited. Uh, which dies did I use? Okay, the dies from this. Now, this is very important. Thanks for asking, Rachel. Um, these are the Magical Meadow dies, right? Which are these ones. And you do need to have these ones. And sadly, these are retiring. So tonight is the last day to get these ones. So if you haven't gotten them, make sure you go to a Stampin' Up. Use my host code, uh, which again is in the description. So you get the card kit. And the item code is 16... Two one four three for the dies, 
Um, but that, and, and of course there is a bundle, right? You can get it as a bundle to save 10%, but you can also get only the dice if you want. I feel like the dice are amazing because you get all the foliage and you can make it work with anything else. But of course the Magical Meadow um, set is amazing. I love all the different um, foliage you have. And I definitely love how it looked when you kind of color with the markers. So I think it's a good one to have and it is retiring. So make sure you grab this one tonight if you don't have it. Uh, and like I said, if you use the, um, the host code, you'll also be getting the a kit to make it. Now, I believe the bundle is like 54 maybe, I think. I can't remember right now. So immediately, not only do you get the kit, but you also get the pack of the rhinestone. So definitely uh, check it out. All right, let me see, what else? Hi, Cindy. All right, so I think that's all in questions and Don is laughing. Yeah, I know you don't. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you so much, Will. It was really nice seeing you. I'll see you next week. Next week, I'll be back home. So I'll be able to show you the new products from the catalog. Again, tomorrow we have the new catalog. And starting tomorrow, you also can start getting that glass mat that looks amazing. Again, because I am in Mexico, I couldn't bring all the stuff. So I couldn't share it with you how it looks. But um, I'll definitely be sharing a video next week to uh, for you to see that glass mat that is amazing. So... Um, anyway, so if you have any other questions, let me know. I'll be um, I'll be here watching the. Oh, thank you so much for sharing. That always helps me so much, Cindy. So anyway, so I'll be watching all your comments, and we'll go from there. So again, thank you so much, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.